Avoid the lottery of FIFA points. Head over to u 7 bikecom Use the code TVM at checkout for a 5% off. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to The Road to Glory, episode 303, which is, um, if, you, if you'd said that to me right at the beginning of uh, FIFA 19, you'll do 300 plus episodes of A Road to Glory this year, I would have said no, I don't think so, uh, I genuinely thought this would have fizzled out after the 15th or 20th episode, but here we are, about to complete Richarlison, just because we can. Uh, not really because I want to. Well, that's a lie. I do want to, but I don't really see the significance. I've tried to fit this into a team in concepts, and I have to sacrifice a couple of things here or there, and I have to play one player in a certain position. I don't really want to be playing him in to get him on full chem. It's a bit of a weird one, uh, but I have completed two squads. This is the third. I know I've got two team of the seasons in there, and he says one. McGinn was the cheapest 87 rated player I could buy at around 18,000 coins. So it just made sense to buy him as opposed to buying anybody else. Had to spend quite a bit of money actually to get this done. But it is now done. And there's Rich Allison in the club or about to be in the club. If we watch him walk out, I'm guessing we can do that. 92 rated. Links very well to the likes of uh, Socrates, Ronaldinho, Roberto Firmino, all the Premier League players that we have. Just doesn't really like Ronaldo. Uh, but there he is, Everton star man. And I don't mind if I do. Do you remember when he signed for Everton from, I think it was Watford? Didn't they sign him for like 40 million and everybody was taking the piss? And now we've got a 92 footies Richarlison. Hmm. Um, but there he is. Uh, doesn't really fit into the team as easy as I thought he would, which is a bit weird. But you can't really argue. Five star weak foot, four star skills, high, high work rate. He is very Roberto Firmino, but he's got a better weak foot, so it is what it is. We'll see exactly how we get on with him. We're down to 525,000 coins right now, although I do have Kevin De Bruyne to sell, who sells for around two to 250. You know, swings and roundabouts. I do have a few packs to open before we go into a live game, but I'm not going to do them now. I'm going to do them after the live game. Feel free to skip the game and go watch the packs if you want, you Judas. But, um, yeah, you feel free. It's entirely up to you. I don't want to waste your time. But I'm going to do it just for something to look forward to at the end of the game. There is Richarlison. Now, I will need to convert him down to a centre mid. Uh, I don't know if I can maybe get away with playing a different formation. I just know that this is the easiest one for links. Let me see if I can get away with playing a different formation. Maybe a 4-2-4 or something. Uh, Bale on that side. Bring him over there. Switch those around, Ronaldo up there, hmm, yeah, that does kind of work, and if I switch him for Vieira, ooh, yeah, that works, there we go, job done, I don't need to switch anybody, everybody's happy, and on 9 or 10 chem, and there we go, we don't have to sacrifice anyone, so he does fit into the team, uh, I thought I was going to have to convert Casemiro down to a centre mid, don't want to do that, because he has to play striker in most of my teams, so, the fact that we can get away with playing that is brilliant. So, my CDMs, Casemiro and Vieira, thinking Richarlison will be the cam. Uh, Ronaldinho may very well be striker then. Ooh, don't know how I feel about that. We'll see how we get on. And then, of course, uh, Ronaldo left, Bale right, and the defence will remain the same, I think. Uh, I'll, tell you how we, uh, I'll tell you how we set up when we go in-game, after I've decided. So into the game we go. I have four formations set up. Uh, this guy's got a pretty decent team. No complaints from me there. I mean, there are plenty of complaints from me because I'm about to play it. I would much prefer it if you had a non-rare Premier League team. Although you would probably still beat me. Uh, but um, no, th to be fair, the better the team, the, the, the normally the worse the opponent. Usually. Unless they have like a full meta squad. And then in which case you could probably tell that they're a decent player. This guy doesn't have necessarily a meta team. Did you see that? It did not give me bail. It, it, I mean, that's not even my throw, but they've given it to me. It didn't give me bail. Wouldn't select him. Don't know why, but uh, we still have the ball, so why am I complaining? Can we just knock that up the line, please? Great bit of football. Up, over the head, and away we go. I haven't set, and oh, no, I have set up. But like I said, I've got four formations set up at the moment. Richarlison as striker in two of them, and uh, as a cam in another two. I've played a game today already uh, for the Richarlison review. Didn't get one single clip with him because I just didn't play very well in general. Uh, I did. I mean, I just just don't know his best position. It might. It may very well be striker for all I know. 
the issue is for me, I don't use strikers like everybody else does. So it's, it would be easy to say, oh, just switch formation and use him as a striker just for a couple of games, even though, you know, that's not how you play. But I can't play like that because I've been playing like this for months. It would take me ages to sort of learn how to play another way. That sounds a bit stupid, but it's true. Here's Vieira with a ball out to Alexandro. Uh, for those of you who, stu who are still dropping likes, uh, views and comments on the... On the videos, I appreciate you greatly. That was so bad. I appreciate you greatly. You guys are legends. If you, especially if you leave comments, because it obviously gives me something to read of a night, uh, and it, uh, it gives me something to react to in, in comment sections. So top comment was first time TVN has been happy in like 200 episodes. Fair play, EA. The the frustrating thing about that is is you're kind of right to a certain extent. Oh god, what a save. Um, EA right have the ability to make me happy on a daily basis. And it's not even a sexual thing. And they just don't do it. I, and I don't know why. And that's what frustrates me. If it was, oh, they don't do it because, you know, insert X, Y reason. Fair enough, right? You've got a legit reason to, to not do it. And I get it. However, they don't. They, it doesn't cost them to implement content. It doesn't cost them to stick a let me go uh, do, do I do I want to go constant pressure let's go attacking I don't even know what these settings are it says ultra defensive attacking ultra attacking etc they're nothing to do with how attacking we go it's just the positions of the players but uh, I don't I don't know what position is is whom here's Richarlison what I need to do is set something up where Richarlison's actually a winger because I think that would benefit him more in my team well done Bale you are brilliant sometimes certain players in certain games don't react how they should do. And I genuinely wonder if it's encoded into the game. What a save. That some players, right? So, for instance, that Gareth Bale then, right? I love him. However, I blamed him there because he didn't react quick enough. And I fully stand by the fact that he didn't react quick enough. I did that knowing full well I was never going to get there. And I still did it. I don't understand why, I, why I'm so stupid. Oh, that's a great bit of football. Gareth Bale with a shot, and it's a great goal from Gareth Bale. Uh, he's going to shush him, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I, d I didn't want to do it. I did. I wanted to do dead fish, and he shushed him or did whatever that is. Either way, I reckon EA tweaks something sometimes that makes your player just one or two of them, or maybe even all of them, but I, one or two of them in particular, just not play great. You know why? Because then you're like, oh, do you know what? I might change him. And you either sell him, and then you lose coins on tax, and then you buy someone else, and it probably doesn't work out for you, because let's be honest, the the, the original player was the one that you really liked, and you just had one or two bad games with him and, and changed him up. And that's what EA are, are banking on. So you've lost coins on the Switch, uh, and then maybe you sell him, and you keep, you keep losing coins because you keep searching for that replacement. Or you go and open packs. Because then you can buy your replacement that way. And I genuinely think that's what EA do sometimes. How is that not a foul? Just make some of your players play bad. Or play just slightly worse. Just enough for you to go, do you know what? I'm going to try something new. And that costs you money, costs you coins, makes you open packs. I don't know, it might be, might be a bum theory. But, uh, oh god, what a terrible, terrible pass. Or was it a good interception? I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a theory that I think we could all get on board with. Maybe initially you'd be like, nah. And then the more you think about it, you're like, hang on. EA, maybe, maybe. Sounds like something they would do, to be honest. There, there are definitely, like, sliders in this game. I fully stand by that. You know, when you're playing, all of a sudden your opponent just gets everything. You can't keep the ball. Oh, he nearly did it. He nearly flicked it inside. I love Ronaldinho. He's so much fun. Speaking of so much fun, Tim Barker says... Um, Richarlison has legit legitimately given me a reason to play the game again, as will Pogba and Rashford is on the way. Now, I I agree, because I felt like that with Ronaldinho. But I was in, I was streaming the other day, and some guy in the chat, this guy is all over me, and somehow we're winning this game. Um, some guy in the chat was like, oh, I've just completed. Blah blah. Uh, I completed blah 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 the other day. I can't remember if it was like Cruyff or something. And he was like, Bef um, before I did it, I legitimately thought it was going to give me a reason to want to play the game. I was so excited to use him. What do you say? Like 15, 20 minutes into my first game, can't wait for the game to finish, and decided to work towards another icon. 
and that will be the reason why I, I want to play this game again. And the sad thing is, 20 minutes into my first game with him, and I'll decide that I can't be bothered to play it anymore, and I'll go and look for another player. So basically, what he was saying was, in, in sort of thought, a player, whether it be Ronaldinho, whether it be Cruyff, whether it be whatever player that you're working towards, you save you, etc. That's my fault. I've moved Blanc out of the way. Oh, I moved, I moved Allison out of the way as well, and he went near post. To be honest, I don't think he meant to go near post because Ronaldo shifted it slightly more than what I think he wanted to, and then he, yeah, he tucked it in near post. He's not meant to do that at all. Let's be honest. He's gone for a finesse into the far corner. And the game has automatically switched it to the near post. Not because I've moved my keeper, just because the game is crap. Um, had I kept my keeper where it was, I would have saved it. And then he would have been blaming the game. But as it stands... Oh, unlucky. As it stands, I've moved my keeper and it's worked out well for him. And he doesn't have an excuse to, to shout at the game just yet. That was unlucky because Ronaldinho was poised over there waiting for a first time shot. One all in a game that I probably deserve to be losing so I can't really be too angry. Uh, we've got a little bit more possession but he has been, he's been quite dominant despite the stats so again I'm not going to really argue. Yeah but his point was it doesn't matter who you pick up, it doesn't matter who you want, it doesn't matter who you're currently working towards when you get that player You'll play a game, two games, three games maximum, and then you'll be like, Do you know what, I'm sick of this now. Let's go build towards something else. And then you'll get in your mind that that is going to be the player to sort of revitalize your love of the game. That's going to that's gonna be the player that makes you want to just get on the pitch and start playing. You may even play a weekend league. Oh, as soon as we get him, I'll be happy to play weekend league again. You won't. You'll play 10, 20 minutes, and you'll be like, Do you know what, screw this game. I'll, I'll, I'll still play it, I'll work towards blah blah blah, because it's fun, because the menus are fun, packs are fun, but yeah, I think that's I think that's the moral of the story. FIFA 20, different story altogether, because of course it's a new FIFA, you're working towards things and the gameplay's different, etc, yada yada yada, but um, FIFA 19 for me is just done, and it's the same with everyone I think, and it doesn't matter who you pick up, no matter how much fun it is to do stuff like that, it's um... It's FIFA 19, and it's been out nearly a year now, and we need something different. We need a fresh injection of content. I think that's something the EA really need to look at going into the next FIFA, and that's how to keep it fresh. And the the way that they, they should be, well, not should be, but the way that they could keep it fresh is to almost introduce a different sort of game mode halfway through the cycle, in a way. Um, so for, oh, god damn. So, for instance, this year, it would have been cool if we'd got a watered-down Volta as a World Cup-style add-on, where you had to start again, and maybe they had, like, a rival system in it, maybe a tournament mode, and it, it basically meant that, you know, we're in June, for instance... And we now have to start again, but in a Volta mode. It's, it's like the World Cup, you have to start again, right? But the whole point for me of playing Ultimate Team is building my team up. I love the starting point of FIFA. It is the most fun. It's the most grindy, and it's, you know, oh, I need to get as much as I can as quick as I can. But, I oh, really? But when we get to this stage, it's like, well, you know, I'm done. And, and, and the journey is far better than, than the, the reward. We've talked about this. So, no, oh, that's that's my fault. It's poor. It's so poor. Why am I so poor? I I don't know. It's because I eat too many takeaways and I spend too much money. Oh, I mean poor at the game. Sorry. Uh, different conversation. Different meeting. Can we make a challenge here? Well done, Van Dyke. We don't need to upgrade Van Dyke. He's fantastic. But yeah, imagine they'd re they'd released a Volta mode this year, um, like a World Cup add-on, but Volta. And, you know, it, it's basically FIFA, but a much smaller arena with... Okay, that was a heel-to-heel, -heel, apparently. Whoop! Is Richarlison right or left? I knew he's got a five-star weak foot, but it would be nice to know what his actual foot is. Because I can't remember. And that's hit their throw, because I'm an idiot. I was looking for the cross, and, you know, I haven't crossed today, I don't think. But it didn't really work out for me, did it? That's not the pass I tried to play, but it worked out, so I'm alright with it. Should we try and... La Croqueta our way through. Oh, he still, to be fair, he made it past about two people that I didn't expect him to make it past, and then he just sort of lost his foot in, and the ball bobbled around a bit. He somehow gets that ball back. Perfect uh, rebound from Vieira's shins. You love to see it. 
if you're the opponent. You don't love to see it if you're me. How awesome would that have been, though? Because it would have given us life, you know? Oh, really? Oh, my God, this game is AIDS. Um, it would have given us life in the game again, you know? Like, okay, it's a brand new mode, and whoever you're working towards right now, maybe maybe you can take two players over from standard Ultimate Team into Volta so that it's not a complete... Um, it's not a complete start again situation like the World Cup mode was. But, uh, oh god, really? I thought he'd scored. I don't really want to make a sub. He's the one that pressed pause, but... Um, I'll take Bale off, I think. Uh, we'll get Kevin Kevin De Bruyne on. I'll put Ronaldo out there. Put Kevin De Bruyne as the cam. I'll put Ronaldinho. I don't want to, I'll, let me put Richarlison out there. Let me find out what foot this guy is. He is... right. I thought he was. Right-footed... Ronaldo out there. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you've got to leave. You have to leave Ronaldinho on. I can never take him off. He's too good to take off. He's too much fun. So, that would have been an idea. Because even though the World Cup mode didn't exactly breathe life into the game again, the reason it didn't is because they gave us too much too soon and killed it. They gave us that repeatable icon, SBC, and that was the end of it. But like a Volta style mode is a completely just different game mode. So even if they gave us too much too soon, I don't think it would have really mattered. Because you've got a 5-on-5 five five or a 3-on-3 three three situation. It's a lot more fun than playing this. Because this is something we've played for thousands of games throughout the year. Volta is different. You know, it's it, it's an indoor mode. It's just a different thing to do. And, um, you know, when, when you've only really got like one or two decent players and you've got to build it up from nothing again... It gives you a reason to play it, you know? Summer should be one of the main times people are playing FIFA because a lot of people have time off during the summer. Unfortunately, it's when the game dies down and no one really wants to play it because it's been out for so long and everyone has what they want and the game is just stale in general. So it's something that they need to look at, something they need to improve on. And I know, you know, oh, well, they can't do that every year and introduce Volta because, you know, they might do it if they do it once, then people will expect it from the start of the game again. Well, maybe make it so that it's only ever out in June. I mean, okay, it would be a bit annoying. Why don't they just make it available from the beginning? Well, oh, hello. He's through on goal here. Oh, what a challenge that is. Laurent Blanc. He could have done better with that. He took far too long to cut back inside. That is an absolutely horrendous pass. And I may very well concede. I mean, to be fair, if I lose the game, it's not. I don't really care. I just, it's, it's just irritating that I'm, for some reason, not... I mean, I don't deserve to be winning this game, if I'm honest, because this guy is better than me. That was very nice football. Can we send Richarlison or whomever it is? I think he might be offside because that extra touch... Yep, the extra touch from Sandro was, uh, was unnecessary, and then that made Richarlison offside. Brilliant. But, um, yeah, I know they can't do it every year, but if they were to just say to us, you know, Volta mode in Ultimate Team will come out every, whatever, June or something. Nah, I don't know if it would work. I don't know, but just something, you know. Oh, footies, that's not going to get people interested, mate. I'm sorry, what is that for a pass? Footies isn't going to make anyone interested. It doesn't make the hardcore interested. It's not going to make the people who have gone away from the game come back to it. Let's be honest. So, yeah, in my opinion, they need something to inject into the game. That was good from Richarlison, it just didn't go where I wanted it to go. And he was on the stretch, I'm not going to blame him for it. As we approach the end of the game, we do have some packs to open. I have something crawling on my leg, and I was looking down, and if he scores, I'm fully blaming that. Well, he should have scored. And there it is. Um, why are there so many French footies from objectives? Your guess is as good as mine. I have absolutely no idea. Might just be a... A coincidence, or it might be EA thinking, well, we'll make a lot of them one nation, so at least they can sort of link together. I doubt EA are that clever, to be honest. One all, not the most exciting of games. Um, my conversation tails off a little bit here or there, and I do apologise, but ultimately, um, we didn't lose in a game that I probably should have and deserved to. Uh, a little look at Richarlison, nothing too crazy. Uh, we got a, I mean, that guy was better then. He had a much higher skill rating than we did, apparently. We're back down into Division 3 again. I, I mean, we're up and down. We are massively up and down. But uh, ultimately, I don't care. We've got three packs from Richarlison. One of them could be very good. The others, maybe not so much. And let's get into it to end the episode off. It is so hot right now. I may 
faint. We have a walkout. It's the team of the season. There aren't any good ones. It's going to be an Algerian centre-back from... Oh, my God. A Ben Lamry. I have no idea who that guy is. I've never heard of him before. Uh, he's from the Saudi League, of course. And it's it's a fake walkout, if you ask me. It's kind of like getting a screen card. I mean, I'm more excited about getting Axel Witzel than I am getting that guy. What does that tell you? Axel Witzel is worth about the same as what this guy is probably worth. Oh, no, he's worth a little bit more because you need a team of the season. Well, there we are. So I got excited for a player who's not as worth as much as Axel Witzel. And we get a bunch of dupes. I don't really have the room for the dupes. Oh, dear. I've not... Uh, do you know what? We're going to risk it. I've got nine spaces left on my transfer list. And I've got a lot of players to come out of these packs. Let's do the 45k pack next. Can we get back-to-backs here? No, we can't. We're saving it for the rare mega. We don't even get a board, but that's typical 45k pack luck right there. Nothing good there whatsoever. We can chuck those. I've got seven spaces here. We should be fine, right? And if we're not, it doesn't matter because it's the final pack anyway. That's going to be the final action of today's video. I have absolutely no idea what we're going to do in tomorrow's episode. I may very well get rid of Kevin De Bruyne now. We played with him for a little bit. We didn't really do anything with him. I'm not that excited to use him. It's not like he's a five-star skiller or anything. So I might just, you know, cash in, get the coins, and um, hopefully... If they release the Future Stars SBC, I'm hoping it's repeatable. Josh says, only thing I'm sad about, content-wise, is that there likely won't be a repeatable Future Stars SBC. Well, I mean, why? Because it's in the code. I would have thought if they were going to put it into an SBC, it would be repeatable. Because the, um, the ones to watches were repeatable. Okay, the flashback wasn't. So, yeah, maybe. I mean, the cards are very good. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It might not be. I hope it is. I really do. Um, I, and again, with the with the team of the season, I would imagine that that's going to be repeatable. Because why wouldn't it be? Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, if, if, if the Future Stars SBC comes out tonight and it's repeatable, expect a Future Stars pack opening tomorrow. And I will spend whatever we get for Kevin De Bruyne on those Future Stars SBCs. Within reason. I mean, unless they're stupid money, if they're like an 84, 85 rated team with a team of the season card, then they can swivel. I'm not even going to do one of them. But we'll see. Remega. Can we get a walkout to end the episode, please, EA? That would be really nice. Oh, what a generous bunch of fellas. Don't be team of the season. Get in. It is a Europa League man of the match. French striker. Is it Giroud? Oh, it's Lacazette. What rating is this one? 89. That could be good. I, I don't want to get too excited. My guy in the comments here, Lewis Spencer. I've done the Rich Allison SBC and got team of the season Bruno Fernandes in the packs. I got all excited and then I realized he was 50k. That's what I want to avoid. I did that the other day and it might very well have been with the inform Lacazette. I pulled the 87, got excited, 35k. So how much is he going for? I would imagine maybe 60k, which isn't too bad and we'll probably end up selling him. That's a very good pull, though. See? What? If I, if I genuinely, right, if I wanted to buy this guy on the market and I went and had a look before I pulled him, he, he would have been 140k. I've just packed him, and now he's worth 49,000. And that's why I didn't get excited. It's still a good pull. Don't get me wrong. If I was to sell that, I've made more or less half my money back from what that Richarlison SBC actually cost me. So, and we got an icon in that uh, pack as well with Gattuso. So, not bad. Can I say Gattuso in a pack? Has that been overdone? I don't think I've seen anyone do that this year. That could be original. Um, I don't know what to do with this Lacazette because it's not really a card. I mean, four-star, four-star, high-medium, it's a good card because he's got some really nice stats on him. But it's not really something that appeals to me. It's not like, oh, John, John I'd love to, I'd, I would like to use that. I'd love to get him into a team. I don't really care. Uh, we could just sell him, couldn't we? 750000 Max price. That is a card and a half for moving coins. That is. Um, I've seen a lot of people get banned recently who don't have anything to... His min price is 40 k and he sells for 49 I've seen a lot of people get banned recently. For, they're not buying coins. They're not selling coins. They're just bidding on players and selling players. So, for instance, they're sort of predicting what SBC is going to come out, or they've seen it in the code, so that they buy a load of, 
non-rear Chelsea centre-backs and all of a sudden EA released this SBC that requires a Chelsea centre-back and they can sell them for nearly 10k and people are getting banned for it. Like, it's so stupid. It is so, so stupid. One of them is an EA game-changer and he, he got banned and he's a game-changer. It's hilarious, but not at the same time. Um, so Kyle Walker expires today. I don't care about foot swaps. I mean, it's so stupid. And it, it comes back round to the whole, oh, if I get Ronaldinho, I want to play the game again. Because as soon as it happens, I don't care. As soon as they announce foot swaps, I was like, you know what? There's three players in there or four players or whatever that I wouldn't mind going for. And the first two, Promes and Vass, I think it is, I identified as players I would probably end up getting because they would be the easiest. I genuinely don't think I'm going to get one of them. I don't know how much this costs. Maybe a 78 rated team or something. 79 rated team. So... You know, initially it'll cost you, what, 10, 15k maybe? Uh, unless you've got some things in the club you can get it done with. Which is, you know, if you go for like Rashford or whatever, worth it. For me, I only have one token besides this. I'd then have two. I wouldn't have enough for a player. I'd need one more again, which I could get. Uh, but I just don't care enough, I don't think. I mean, unless, if there's one available in, in squad battles, right... If there's one available in squad battles, there is. I will do that SBC. That will give me three. And then I can get Vass. Um, if there's one easy one available... Oh, there's none available in the weeklies. So... Oh, because it ends. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I'll get the one from squad battles uh, tomorrow night. Because I need to play more squad battles anyway to unlock a few of the, the players from weekly objectives. And I will do that SBC. And then I will get Vass, I think, because I think Quincy Promes is four tokens, right? Yeah, so we'll get Vass. 90 rated, very good card, probably won't use him outside of maybe one game, and then he'll be in the club or go into an SBC or something. He will fit for Kem in certain places, because we have Ga B uh, Gale, Bale and Casemiro, as well as Icons, but I'm not really, not really that bothered, but uh, yeah, we'll pick him up. That's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully, we get some Future Stars content tonight because I absolutely love that promo. If you have enjoyed this episode, though, smack that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, of course, and until the next time, goodbye.